for some people, the thought of having multiple e-commerce stores just seems extremely overwhelming. And it's pretty understandable because you have to think about the fact that you're going to have to juggle a lot of different things or a lot of the same things multiple times. Can you handle it? Since you have multiple stores, you're going to have to have multiple customer service conversations, multiple customers in each store, multiple orders that you have to ship within each store. And overall, the tasks you have for managing one dropshipping store pretty much just multiplies by the amount of stores that you have. But in today's video, I'm going to show you one of the easiest ways that you can manage multiple Shopify stores all at once. I'm going to show you a few different strategies and a few different tools that you can use that can really simplify the entire process. And with that, let's just go ahead and get started, shall we? Also, I'm going to give you a bonus that's going to speed up your entire store creation at some point throughout this video. So if you want to learn how to create your Shopify stores pretty much in an instant, then make sure you check out this video all the way through. Also, we have a cheat sheet to go along with this video that explains everything that I'm talking about today and has all of the different references, the links, the tips and tricks. If you want access to that cheat sheet, just go ahead and comment down below the hashtag Shopify dropshipping and let me know what your takeaway was from this video. Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll comment back with a link to the sheet. Now, before we continue, don't feel overwhelmed. I understand that when you have multiple Shopify stores, it can really start to make you think of too many things at once. Like I need to respond to these emails and then I need to respond to these emails and I cannot forget to sign on to this other store to then reply back to those emails. But then I have to go to my other store and ship out these other orders. And I understand it's a lot. I get it. But trust me when I say that in this video, we're going to talk about a few different ways that you can really simplify this entire thing. And with that, let's go ahead and start with, can you actually manage multiple Shopify stores? So the simple answer to this is yes, you can easily manage multiple Shopify stores and Shopify themselves actually make this very easy for you. Now, before we continue on to that, let's go over some of the different advantages that you have to actually opening up different Shopify stores. So how can you benefit from having multiple stores? Well, for one, you get to test. And this is one of the biggest advantages because testing in this business is one of the biggest things that you need to do. You need to test different products, test different niches and see what works for you. So being able to have multiple Shopify stores allows you to do this in a more streamlined way. For example, you can have multiple Shopify stores that all specialize in one particular niche. So you can have one Shopify store for babies, another one for pets, another one for home goods, and you can have another one that's just generic and just sells a little bit of everything. Or you can try to niche down into one particular niche in a few different stores by testing out different layouts, different names, different logos, and just overall different styles. My personal opinion, start with different niches and see what works. If one of these different niches starts to pick up and you start to see a bit more sales coming in, then you can start investing some money into that particular store and start scaling it. In turn, you can keep on testing out the different niches or you can try to really niche down and grow this one particular store or open up a few other stores in that same niche and just continue testing. Aside from that, you can also target multiple locations. So if you want to drop ship in the United States, then you can have one store that is particular to that demographic. Then if you want to expand or maybe try your hand at the United Kingdom or maybe Canada or Australia, then you can have a separate store for each one of those regions or each one of those countries. Another fantastic way that you can use multiple Shopify stores to test is going to be in your pricing. So check this out. You can have one regular retail store where you sell all of your products at, you know, whatever marked up price you typically go at. And then you can have a second store that's more of an outlet store. So you can actually offer things at a more discounted price here and just see how it goes. While your profits aren't going to be as high as they typically would, you're still going to be making some money on each one of these sales and you could potentially have a higher order volume, which at the end of the day will make up for the lower profits. So more orders, lower profits, more money or less orders, higher profits, still more money. All right. So now that we know all of the advantages to actually having multiple Shopify stores, how many stores can we actually have under our name? Well, realistically speaking, you can have as many as you need. If you need to have six or seven, you can open up six or seven. You can have six or seven different free trials for the month if that's still going on by the time that you watch this video. But right now, Shopify has their one dollar for your first month and you can take advantage of that for a good amount of different stores, even if they're all under the same email, which, by the way, pro tip, keep everything under the same email because it's going to make managing them a lot easier. But that's just to test your free trials are just a test out and get started to see what works. Now, if you really start to see success in multiple Shopify stores, then you should really consider Shopify Plus their enterprise solutions. In that case, you can open up as many different stores as you need, all for the same price. 
So whatever you're paying a month is going to cover all of those different stores up to nine stores. After nine stores, each store is going to be an extra fee that's going to be added on to your monthly plan. But to get started, if you want to just test the waters and test out different niches, if you want the first free month, then you can go ahead and start with the basic additions, open up the different stores into the same email, and you can manage all of them pretty easily through the Shopify dashboard. Now, as far as pricing for all of these different stores, again, that's going to vary. So for the first month, it is going to be just $1. But then after that, it's going to be dependent on whatever plan you choose. But again, if you see growth and you see that your stores are scaling, then Shopify Plus will be a very good option for you. All right, onto the fun part, which I'm pretty sure is what most of you have been waiting for. Let's go ahead and actually create these stores. How do you create multiple Shopify stores? So doing this is super simple. Once again, like I said, Shopify makes everything super easy for you. So the first thing you need to do is go over to the Shopify website and click on start your free trial. Now, this is if you don't have a Shopify account yet. So if you don't have an account, go ahead and click on free trial. If you do have an account, just go ahead and log in. Now, this is whether you don't have an account already with Shopify or if you're already selling on Shopify. Whether or not you have an account, either way, click on start free trial. Now, once you get to the screen, like I always say, just go ahead and click on skip all because none of that really matters. But this part does. So go ahead and choose where you're going to sell. You're going to be selling in the US. Is this store going to be for the US or is this store going to be for Canada? This one's going to be for the US. So let's click on next. Go ahead and sign up or sign on. Either way, in my case, I sign in with Google. So sign up with Google. I already have an account or multiple accounts. So it's asking me to verify. Go ahead and continue. All right, then our store is being built for us through Shopify. And once that's done, that's it. Our store is ready to be built, customized, and filled with different products. Now, if this is your first Shopify store, then you can go ahead and customize this one the way that you want, and then move on to the next store by repeating the process the exact same way and making sure that you log in with the same login that you used earlier, whether that be through your regular email, Facebook, Gmail, or whatever other options it, there were, make sure you use the same one. So that way you can have them all linked. Now, once you have those different stores linked, how do you switch through them? Well, Shopify makes it super easy up here where it shows my store. Go ahead and click on that. And then you have your other stores through here. So here I have one, two, three, four different stores that I have. Well, this would be my fourth one. So let's say I want to go ahead and click on this one. Then it takes me to my other store where I have a few other products in a completely different niche. Now, managing all of these different stores is one thing. But what about actually making the stores coming up with the theme and overall building your store and your product pages that in itself that can take quite a while, especially if you're new to this whole thing. So now I'm going to give you the absolute best solution that you have to this. And that is creating your Shopify stores using AI. So an AI model is going to fully build your entire Shopify store. And it's even going to include a few different winning products that you can use to get started selling. Now, what AI is that? Well, it's none other than the AutoDS AI stores. So AutoDS has a built in AI Shopify store builder. So if you're not registered to AutoDS just yet, or you've been on the fence, you can check out the trial period right now for just $1 for the next two weeks. And once you have access, then you can go ahead and create your AI store or stores. So check this out. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to sign on to your AutoDS account. And if you have a new store or if you haven't opened up a store yet, then up here, it's going to say add a store. If you already have a store, then you're going to have your store name up here. So click on that. And then again, if you have a store, go ahead and click on add store. And then we're going to go ahead and choose the Shopify store build with AI. Go ahead and click on continue. Now we're going to choose the middle option. Use AI to generate a pre-built store. Then this is the cool part. You're going to select your niche. So if you're trying to test out different niches, the AutoDS AI store builder can create one store for each one of your niches. This is going to save you a massive amount of time. So let's go ahead and choose which one we're going to do. Let's go ahead and do sports and fitness for this one. Then click on next. Oh, by the way, also, if you're not sure or if you just want a generic store, then you can just click on I'm not sure. That's going to give you a generic store with a mix of different niches in the products. So go ahead and click on next. And that's it. So now let's go ahead and open up an incognito window, go to Shopify, and let's go ahead and log in with the credentials that we were just given. So just go ahead and paste in the email, grab over the password. Also, if you lose these credentials, don't worry, they're going to be emailed to you. Let's go ahead and log in. And from here, the next thing you need to do is actually go ahead and choose a plan. So go ahead and select your, you know, your monthly basic plan. And that's it. You have access to your store. Let's go ahead and check out really quick what it's going to look like or what this one looks like, at least. So <laughs> this is actually really good. So there we have fit zone. Here we have our different sections. So we have the home, the shop, all contact and even to track your order came up with a nice little banner free shipping for this week only. And here are our preloaded products. These are winning products all of which you can find on the AutoDS handpicked product section. 
So if you keep scrolling down, you can see that the website is actually pretty well built. On top of that, they have the contact us section, subscribe and save 10% off. So you can start collecting different customers' emails and your entire footer down here with all of your different policies, the refund policy, shipping, privacy, your terms of service, and even a track your order section. Now let's look at one of the product pages just so we can get an idea of what that part looks like because we all know that this is where customers land on. And here we have our basic three-piece kettlebell set and scrolling down, we can see that for one, everything is nicely laid out on the right side. On the left side, we have the images that are just sticking there. So they're static, they're not moving around. I like that because there's not a lot of empty space. Now, here we have all of the different features. When you scroll down, everything looks pretty good. All right. Here at the top, we have our descriptions. So we have the guarantee, the shipping and return. And overall, the product page looks pretty good. There's a few things here and there that could be fixed and the layout could be fixed a little bit more, like maybe this could be a little bit wider. But really, this is optimized for both mobile and PCs or Macs. So the layout is gonna be a little bit different, especially if you look at it on a mobile view. Now, besides that, again, if you wanna try out different niches, you can just go ahead and go back to the AutoDS dashboard, add another store, and build it through a different niche with the AutoDS AI Shopify Builder. As you can see, this makes creating your Shopify store 10 times easier. When it comes to designing, a lot of people have issues and they never really like how it comes out. So this is a very easy way to get started. And from here, you can just modify it a little bit. You can add things, you can take a few things off and really make it yours. This in itself, again, is gonna speed up a huge chunk of actually getting started. And that's how you can start building multiple Shopify stores, how you can manage them, and how everything can work to your advantage. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Do you have multiple Shopify stores? Have you tried doing that before? Is it something that you currently do? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Also remember with the cheat sheet, if you want access to that, to gain access to all of the different tips, tricks, and links that I talked about in today's video, make sure you comment down below the hashtag Shopify dropshipping. And let me know what your takeaway was from this video. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. If you did make it this far, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Once again, my name is Mario with AutoDS, and I'll catch y'all next time.